what's up everyone i'm alex williams i'm patrick james <laughs> <laughs> and you're watching fun again games today we're going to be unboxing hey, up, custom I'm heroes i turned down my phone good job alex this is custom heroes it's from aeg this is going to play in about 45 minutes for two to six players if anybody uh doesn't know custom heroes is the second game. hey what's up everyone i'm alex williams <laughs> the, the second game using the card crafting system from AEG. It's pretty cool looking. We're going to take a look at what the uh, the cards are like inside and uh, talk about it a bit. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, there we go. Maybe I should have you unbox it. Since really? I'm, uh, I have some issues with opening cards and stuff. We got the wrap off. <laughs> Alright, so this is Custom Heroes. As you can see, some really cool art on the box. Oh, man. <laughs> right, the first thing we have is introducing sheep. I love it. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, it's oh, get a smash up faction. Interesting. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Especially since next week, next week we're gonna be playing uh, smash up live on our game night. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll look into that. All right, back to the unboxing. All right, there's our instruction manual. <laughs> Good job. Okay. <laughs> it's the same on both sides. Well, no, it's not. See? Okay. This is this is how we have our, our two languages. You just flip it over. So the, the book is actually only half as long as it looks. Oh, hey, Dan Long is uh, watching. So hi, Kim. Hi, Josh. Hi, Jason. Hi, Dan. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. And everybody else is watching. Yeah, it doesn't look like a whole lot of text. Again, just and then like awesome said, only art. <laughs> it's only half the size because right once you get through it, then you're in the next language. Very cool looking. All right, so we've got our punch board here, which is going to be I'm guessing just our uh, our score tokens of some sort, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. power tokens and victory point tokens. These are so our red ones are victory point tokens, and these are power tokens. These are the same on every sheet. Yeah. So we just need a lot of tokens. Wonderful. We've got some player, player screens, screens here. Yeah. And so oh, man. this is kind of what really great art. That's just incredible. And gives you a placement reference. Again, I haven't actually played through it, played through this or, or seen many videos on it, so I'm not sure um, how it all works aside from the card crafting system. But uh, I'm sure, like all player player screens, is going to give you most of the information you'll need while you're playing. Yeah, now, this is probably just me, but I do like it when um, a game that's been translated still keeps the original characters. Yeah. For some reason, that's just something that I enjoy. Definitely. So there's that one. She's pretty cool looking. She's got that big gauntlet there and an energy shield. Such cool characters. And how many screens do we have? Um, we have six, two right? Two so far. Yep, looks like six in total. So we have two to six players in this game. So six screens. Ah, man. I want to see, like, an anime or something. Oh, yeah. Of this. <laughs> I've barely got through it, and they can tell this would make a good series. Very nice. And this, of course, is the uh, the main hero featured on the front of the box. And you know what I've noticed so far is every character uh, has two weapons. They've got one that seems to be like attached to their arm, and then another handheld weapon. So, real quick before you go sure. too much further... I've kind of been looking at the, the book a little bit. One of the things I love about this is it's got a really nice uh, about the game designer area. And John D. Clare is the designer of this. Um, this doesn't always happen in games. It I doesn't. Like, That's pretty cool. I would cool. like to see this happen more often. It's kind of like an about the author page. So pretty cool. It anyway. was a lot of fun. <laughs> he has a, a faint uh, Chris Hemsworth vibe there. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. <laughs> Uh, this is cool. We got our uh, look at, like a token bag. Oh, a token bag, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's probably just from the uh, screen. Uh... Yeah. Um, 
There it goes. Got our so card is, sheets here. Yep, this is something that you'll be familiar with if you've played Mystic Veil. It's going to come with a, a bunch of uh, card sleeves in order to craft your cards. And then here are the inserts. Do you want to look at the regular cards or the inserts first? Let's look at the regular cards. Let's look okay. at the regular we'll cards save first. save that for just a minute from now. And then, of course, more of the same great art from the rest of the game. This guy's almost got kind of a Harlequin uh, theme going on there. Yeah. And real quick before you open that, mm -hmm. got a question. Um, we aren't playing this right now. We're just unboxing it, just kind of taking a look at it. If you guys do want to see us play Custom Heroes, I'd be more than happy to. We'll probably do a, uh, a separate non-Wednesday game night in order to do it. Just because our Wednesdays are pretty full for the next month and a half now. Yeah. So, but uh, it is definitely one I've been looking forward to playing. So, if you guys want to see us play it, let us know, and we'll. Uh, I think we'll, yeah. we'll schedule up a. Well, Mystic Veil was a, a lot of fun to it play, really so this would definitely be a good one. All right. All right. So, getting the wrapping off. <laughs> Haven't had to use any teeth so far. <laughs> does it not have the uh, easy unwrap? It doesn't. <laughs> Had a little bit of a seam, but I didn't see the little gold tear. Well, maybe it's not gold. Oh, well. So here's our heroes. Is that Michio? Michio. And Akiko. Akiko. And these are the same characters as on the screens, right? I'm guessing? Uh, Looks yeah. Like it so, so, so far. Yeah. Satoshi. Satoshi. <laughs> This is what Sora from uh, Kingdom Hearts is going to look like when he goes up. <laughs> Maybe it is Sora. Kumi? Maybe it's one of those like fan oh, theories. Yeah. You know? Okay. He's changed his Please name. Please post your fan <laughs> theories. <laughs> Kumi? Iwao? 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 Iwao. 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 Isao? Isao. So now, uh, now, Kichiro doesn't have not, a screen, Yeah, right? I was just noticing that okay. um, not all of these people do have screens. And I think uh, Iwao is actually, at least according to this, I'm guessing it's based off of John Clare. I was wondering, yeah, so, since they paired that up. Probably. There's Robo. Robo. That's they they just named the robot Robot. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, so that's uh, Dan's favorite character there. And it looks like he's in a boxing ring, right? He does. He has a big. Okay, well, this one doesn't. Right. The screen. But when you look a, at a his glove, player right? screen, he He's has got a, boxing glove. a boxing glove on there. Yeah, and then in the uh, in the card art, he's he's in the ring as well. That's cool. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Yoshima. She's it, right? No. Nope. nope. Also and have then Cyborg. Cyborg. Very cool. I like that one. I think Cyborg's probably one of my favorites so far. That is a good one. I can't quite <laughs> tell if this is a, a good or an evil character, but she's pretty cool looking. <laughs> well, they're all, they're all heroes, I think. It's custom heroes. Oh, that's true. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and see the uh, the card crafting part. This is uh, one of the cool things about this is, yeah, it works a lot like um, Mystic Veil vale in that you're going to be crafting the cards together, but um, it'll be changing the stats of your characters, but also be changing the look, which is really cool. I'm very excited about that. That's right. That was that's new to this one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Dan says it's cool how everyone has something metal in their hand, and then the robot doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <right>. So, sorry. <laughs> so. Very interesting. So this actually, these ones actually like change the, names the card of art moves, completely. Or... Yeah. If you, if you see that, yeah, this changes the card art completely, but still has the holes here to show the, uh, the stats through. Very cool. So these are like special moves, it looks like. They are. And these are, beats yeah, all these aren't plays. even the characters from the cards. Very, ah, oh, she's cool. One. Yeah. She's a witch. Awesome. So now we've got our okay. upgrade cards. And that's interesting. Got so that kind of gives you a frame. It gives you, yeah. I'm not, again, I'm not sure what all the stats are without looking through the book. But this is cute. Like, this one's got balloons. This one has cats. <laughs> see if we can see it that way. Yeah, kind, kind of. of. <laughs> it's a little hard to focus, focus on transparent uh, cards. Looks like we've got <laughs> some uh, petals here. Oh, they're all different. I love it. Yeah. 
Well, they're mostly different. Yeah. So in these, <laughs> the, the red number up there is the reset. Um, let's see. And it just resets the, the number to a different value. Hmm. And then these ones, they don't have the frames, but they've got some text on there Oops. and a little graphic on the bottom. So this is going to change your ability for the, the characters, which is really cool. I mean. <laughs> and we'll we'll try to uh, build a character real quick, too, I think. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Just to sort of see. Ah, cute little dragon guy. And real quick, since we've already got mm -hmm. this kind of going, as you can see, when you do uh, buy custom heroes, you're going to want to uh, peel off the protective layer before you use it. Oh, fantastic. Like we did with Mystic Veil. So it, does, it is a little time consuming, but it makes it to where I, these guys don't get all scratched up and everything. In, in, I think in a lot of players will appreciate that. They would rather yeah. sit down and take the cover off of each card rather than risk one of them being damaged. Definitely. we got some more cool border art here. Yep, and again, you now you're seeing some like minus threes, minus yeah. fours. Those are going to give you uh, different modifiers. Oh, and you can kind of see what we we're talking about actually changing the characters because this yeah. next we got a, a sock puppet here. Yeah, so it'll actually change what's in their hands. And that's really interesting because we were just talking about how everybody has something in their hands. Yeah, that's how that's how the robot Robo is going to get the uh, boxing glove and bat in his hand. I'm there guessing. it is. See? Boxing glove. Look at that. There's a. Uh... <laughs> Oops. Just some really cool there. stuff. I can't wait to play this game. I'm so excited to play this game. <laughs> oh my nice. <laughs> the foam finger. That's incredible. This game definitely has a sense of humor as well. Oh, That's yeah. amazing. And it's just infinitely expandable. Like, I cannot wait to see what the expansions are already. Oh, yeah. And I haven't even played the game. Let's go ahead and see if we can put something together here. Yeah, so go ahead and figure that out. Once again, we're not playing... Um, custom heroes right now we're just unboxing it taking a look and showing it to you guys uh, you can see the link for the game in the comment section below if you want to pick yourself up a copy it did release today or at least uh, here at Funnigan Games it released today. Now we were hearing some love for Robo right? Yeah so. yeah Dan wants to see Robo so let's uh, let's build up a, a Robo card yeah um, but yeah like I said I think that we'll we'll go ahead and try to figure out a, uh, a non-Wednesday we game should. night and we'll let you guys know um, be sure to to uh, sign up for our newsletter. You can find that on our website, and also just you know make sure you're following us here on Facebook and on uh, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. I'll make sure to to put it out there and let people know that we're going to be playing custom heroes as well. This is a cool weapon. We're going to put that on Robo. All right. Now, does that need the uh, screen taken off too? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do That's that while you're that, finding yeah. it. What else? And then uh, how many? See, I don't even know if you can tell, but there's actually you can kind of see scratches on it. Mm -hmm. But that's just the uh, the protective layer, and that's why they have it. Now, do we know how many um, inserts you're supposed to put on these, um, or is it just one per? I'm guessing you can at least put a couple on because you can change multiple. Stats. Because I'm seeing things that change the bottom of the card, things that change the top of the card. If anybody knows, I mean, Mike Simpson says he uh, played it recently. So, Mike, um, without having to dig through the, the instruction booklet, if you could let us know um, if there was a max uh, amount of card crafting that you could do for each hero, that'd be really cool. Can you see that? Want me to help? <laughs> so, I mean, like, this changes your modifier here. Mm -hmm. This one's going to change your, your yeah. reset at the top. And then I see some... Text here. You're gonna, the give the, you're gonna give them the cats. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make it a little bit random. <laughs> so random. That's you are so better. Mike says that the uh, spots at the bottom here mm -hmm. are going to kind of fill up your modifier. Mm, so you can okay, so that's a good up. way to see. Yeah, so you can only fill up those four there. You can't. Uh, okay. Take place of one that you already have. Maybe you can. Uh, so you can craft four. Get that off. I see if I can find one more card to stick on here. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. That's very helpful. It was very helpful. I love our viewers. Okay. Because when we don't know something about a game, chances are they do. <laughs> this one's really on there. There it goes. It is. I knew you were the man for the job. Okay, I'm going to give you one more. This is the... Uh, I'm the man for the job or I have the nails for the job? Like a battering looking nice. deal there. But we got uh, four different colors, right? Four different slots? Yes. Sweet. I think that I've 
Found one for everything. <laughs> Switch back to Robo here. Ah, all right, okay. there we go. So we'll upgrade this uh, one piece at a time. So we've got our Robo card. So you want to put him in the sleeve. Yep. <laughs> but nothing can cover anything already changed, including text. That makes sense. Nice. However, the number on top can be covered up once. Okay. Very cool. And so we'll give him this, uh, this little battering looking weapon. As you can see, one of my favorite parts about this, and it's going to be kind of hard to see it with a little bit of glare, but um, line it up. That up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things I love about this is that it actually puts artwork into the, the art of the card. Yeah, that's So now a lot he of fun. is actually holding the, the battering, and it gives him a, uh, a plus two modifier okay. and fills up just the one slot. And see what we'll else we got. give him this... Uh, this uh, little dual edge sword. Reminds me of uh, the Halo sword. I was thinking the exact same thing, but I didn't know if I wanted to compare everything to <laughs> something else. To something that else that I played. Halo. Yeah. <laughs> so there's uh, that. Very cool. So now he's got, wow, he's got a plus eight, a plus two. We've just made him a pretty powerful character. He is there. a pretty powerful character. Um, and let's go ahead and lower his cost by adding this uh, cat border. <laughs> his kitty cats. Yeah. <laughs> This game's amazing. I love it. Now, it does get a little bit dark the more uh, upgrades you give it. And it's actually a little harder to see on the camera than it, it is, is uh, here in real life. So it's a little clearer here. Cut some glare there. <laughs> and then we're going to give him some uh, text at the bottom of the card. And this will be the last uh, one that fits in there to cover up that white dot. And you might have to like pull them all out you and might have adjust to. it a little bit just to get it to, and I actually probably to match up. Perfectly. Yep, see, now that I've taken it out, I've lined it all up, and it looks really nice. And if you have one graphic that you like more than the others, maybe you'd be allowed to pull that to Readjust the front. a little bit, yeah. Very His cool name is now that. Rob. <laughs> His name is now Rob, Rob. With, a, with a kitten. Yeah. Um, um, so we see that it looks like he's got a cost of six. Is that what I'm seeing? I'm, I'm not sure or, if that's the cost. I mean, in the book it says reset. But mm -hmm. Okay. So his top has number has come down. He's got a plus eight, plus two... Um, gains one of these uh, victory red, points, victory points yep. if you win this pile. Very cool. So that's a pretty cool looking card there. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I can honestly say that even though I love Mystic Veil, vale, I think that this is going to be my favorite use of the, the card crafting system so far. It kind of has a, <laughs> a different vibe to it. I mean, this one bit, really does yeah. have the whole uh, character versus character thing going on. Um, where Mystic Veil was, I mean, you got Veil and you got Heroes, you know, right. two different uh, categories, so it's really awesome. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, so Wendy, the uh, sleeves do come in the box. Um, they do supply you with all the sleeves that you would need, and they are uh, just thick enough to fit um, the five cards in there. Yeah. One hero card plus the four um, modifier cards. And I've, I've bought <coughs> sleeves cards. like this. These are, mm -hmm. you know, the same kind that you would get. Um, at your local game store. Yeah, and I'm guessing that if you wanted to, you know, change the sleeves or, or have different sleeves, you could. You probably could if you wanted to. But, um, you know, or if you wore these out. Right. You know, you could always upgrade or replace it. <laughs> upgrade or replace it. <laughs> well, right, you yeah. could. <laughs> no, it's true, it's true. But, uh, yeah. I'm just reading some of these uh, these comments. But yeah, that's pretty much it for what's inside of Custom Heroes. Once again, um, I think that people are, are very interested in Custom Heroes and interested enough to see us play it. So I think that we will we'll line up a time to play Custom Heroes here pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to let you know that we are playing a different game tonight. It is Wednesday. We're going to be playing Gentas tonight at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is in just uh, a little less than an hour now, right? Yeah. Yeah, About that's 45 minutes that. we're going to be playing Gentas. We're already set up and ready to play. Um, I think everybody who's played tonight has has played, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, you just played. Monday. I played, uh, yeah, the day before yesterday. What so. did you think of it? Um, you know, it's really good. I uh, These, these Spielworks games... Um, you know, when they come out, they really grab you. And yeah. I think that they're definitely games that uh, you have a lot of fun the first time, and then after that you start thinking about what your strategy is going to be like for the next time. Well, and designed by uh, Stefan Rusthaus from uh, Arkwright, it's sure to be a pretty good game. I mean, Arkwright was super popular. 
Gentes is already really popular. Oh yeah, there's a lot of interest in this game. We got a lot of pre-orders for yep. this one. Lots of pre-orders. Um, it is a, a limited run. Um, I think Uli from Spielworks only does a thousand each uh, for the first print run. Um, I don't think he ever does a, a second run himself, but uh, sometimes it gets picked up by other people down the road. I think uh, I can't remember who picked up Arkwright and re-released it. Not but. sure. But I mean, if you've enjoyed the other Spielworks titles, this is definitely one that you should jump on. Yeah, and definitely tune in tonight. You could win yourself a copy. So we will see you in about 45 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, make sure you follow us here on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram to make sure that you don't miss any unboxings like this. Thank you guys, and we will see you See you in soon. about <laughs> 30, 45 minutes. 30, 45 minutes. 30, 45 minutes. <laughs>